Hello there folks, gamers, crafters, and everyone around the world. Welcome back. This is Kid. How's everyone doing today? So last time we did a amazing stream. Um, basically what we did there, we went to the nether to find a fortress. And um, actually, let me get out of this mode so I can go up here and I want to show you the loot that I was able to obtain there. So I was able to get a couple of blaze rods, most importantly some nether wart, some magma cream, a couple of ender pearls, and you know a couple other bits and bobs and uh, so the reason that I'm bringing this up is because today I think I want to go ahead and make a a brewing house or maybe a brewing hut um, yeah so that way we can make a potion and cure our cure our zombie villager that's outside um, so yeah that's the plan for today so instead of me wasting time and procrastinating let's get straight to it devil, 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 devil. And uh, let's see, let's get a sword here, and I'll show you this uh, awesome zombie villager that I had found off camera. You can tell I didn't cure him yet because he's right here making all types of noise, and he's holding that block right there, so he won't despawn, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I have some name tags, but what I wanted to do was give you guys an opportunity to go down in the comments and give me, or suggest rather, excuse me, suggest a villager name that I can give to that guy. Um, yes, so please go down in the comments right now and tell me an awesome name that I can use for our zombie villager. Alright, so with that, that, with that being said, let's hop into this boat right now and what I'm going to do but once I learn how to control this boat correctly, here we go. Um, in my inventory, I, I brought along some spruce, a couple of extra um, oak saplings. I brought all the dark oak saplings that I have right now. And I have a couple of axes here and a couple of stone hoes and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go, you know, chop down some trees. So that way we can have materials to build our um, brewing area. So here we go. Let's just go this way real quick. Nice area right here, full of oak trees, which is pretty good. It'll really come in handy. All right. Let's, let's plop here. What I'm going to do now, right, I'm going to get a shovel, which I have here. It's almost broken, but that's okay. I'm just going to take a couple of these blocks. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I think that should be enough. Don't really need a full space. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take those blocks and I'm going to put them right here. And this is where I'm going to put the spruce at. So this is where we're going to grow that gigantic spruce tree. We're going to grow that right there. And then real quickly, I think I'm going to deforest this here birch tree. And I'm going to plant the uh, dark oak sapling right over here. Okay, so alright, now that that's done... I'm going to take out the dark oak sapling right there and let's plant it right here okay so we'll give that some time to grow and also we'll let the spruce grow and um, yeah so that way we can farm them up um, but actually what I need to do real quick is I need to get back in this boat right here and I actually need to kind of head back to the house I want to get some um, bone meal so when I do that I'll cut back in with you guys and yeah, I'll meet you back here at the at the tree the tree farming area. Okay, so here we are back at the tree farming area, I guess is what I'm starting to call it. And um, yeah, I went ahead and got some bones. So let me turn some of these into bone meal. It'll make life a lot easier as far as trying to farm some of these trees, right? So if we go over this way. I'm pretty sure most people know this, but there might be a couple of newcomers here. So anyhow, the way you get a tree to grow faster than it's normal t than the normal amount of time it takes is you get some bone meal, as I just did, um, and you go like this. Maybe one, two. Oh, look at that! And then it grows. Okay. And just for the sake of this um, example, I'll do another quick one right here to this dark oak tree. So let's see how many is going to take. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this time it took four. 
it, it's variable. It could take one. Sometimes it could take four. Maybe a little more. But yeah, that's definitely a way you can speed up growth of trees, and also you can uh, spread up the growth of crops and stuff like that. But we'll get into more of that kind of stuff later on. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to let you all know that. Um, right now above screen you should see a card for the stream that we went to the fortress so if you would like to look at that and see how much fun we had roaming in another that's totally up to you and then um, yeah so sit so right now just sit back relax grab a snack and uh, well let's go tree farming and let's start now <laughs> breaking trees basically farming trees stuff like that i'm waiting for another dark oak sapling to fall so that i can leave oh and there we go now i have four dark oak saplings one more time and um yeah so let's turn it let's turn it into daytime and then we'll get back to the base there we go sleep right here all right there we go Nice sunny day, and I see a zombie over here. I think I want to go take care of them. Oh, zombie! Hello. Anybody else? Uh huh. That's the second one right there. I think there's another one right here. Perfect. All right. Now let's get back to the base. I'm gonna leave this here. Um, these four spruce saplings here. That way, we need a you know, to get some more fruit, we can come back here next time. There's still plenty of oak, although maybe I should uh, plant some of this. So actually, yeah, let's plant some of this real quick. Always good to have a good supply of oak trees around. That way when you want to farm them, you have nothing to worry about. So here we go. Let's just fill this in as much as we can. I made a campfire and um, I was cooking up some of this uh, raw pork chop here. You know, while I was waiting for the trees to despawn after I chopped them down. So, that's like another good way to multitask. And yeah, so I think that's enough tree planting. Right, so let's take our bed. Uh, we have no space. Let's see, what can we throw out? Um, probably this bow. We don't need a bow. We'll be fine without the bow. So, let me get in the boat and I'll meet you back in the house. Okay. All right, folks. So here we are back at the house, and I've been hard at work, you know, storing some of the things that I had. Um, right now, I kept most of the wood on me that I had, and I put away a lot of the other things like the bones and the bone meal, the apples, and all the saplings. So that being said, let's actually go ahead and look for a spot to go ahead and build this um, this brewing area or brewing house, whatever you want to call it. And I was thinking, I kind of like this way, it's a bit, it's more quiet over here, it's not as built up as, let's say, over here in this area. So 
So I was thinking about maybe doing it right here. I think I can make it look nice and spooky, if you will. And I think it'll fit perfectly. So let me just remove this dirt right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, not throw my ax down. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tree right here. I may put it back in later, who knows. Okay. And yeah, I think I wanna keep this tree here and this tree here. So that way it'll kind of hide it a little bit, almost like a spooky um, brewing hut. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first, before we start building that, let's make an outline. Um, oh gosh, I didn't get any cobble. Let me go get some cobble real quick. And then we can start building this thing up. So let's just go in here real fast. And then just check and get, there you go. We probably won't need no more than a stack. But I'll take two, just in case. And we probably actually won't even need the whole stack. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go back this way. Okay. And, alright. So let's take first our, um, our dark oak. And let's make a bit of an outline. I'm thinking we could do something not too big, right? So I think if we start maybe about right here. Let me see, and then we go give it a space of one. No, one, two, three, and maybe put another one right there. So we can have a space of three. Okay, that would work. Um, let's also clear out the extra uh, tree leaves that are here. Let's just move these out the way. Ooh, I need this area to build up this, um, this brewing hut. All right, so now we have this. All right, so we had uh, one here, and then we did a space of three. And now I'm thinking about maybe just going back with five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, perfect, so right here. And then go one, two, three right here. So let's place another one right there. And let's just recount. One, two, three, four. Oh no, one more, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, definitely one more, okay. So move this back one to right there, and then the same for the other. There we go. And now we have something that looks like this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with cobble on the sides. Just, you know, to put in a bit of a foundation. Just like this. And I'm thinking we could put the door like right here. I think that'll look good. So, um, basically what you're gonna do first is just lift this up, that up, and those two back up there, just the, the log areas, we're going to go ahead and lift those up by five. So I'll cut back in when I'm done with that. Alright, so now that we brought this up by five on each and every side, we're just going to do some cross beams, just like this, right? And we're going to do it on this side as well. So here, let me do this side so I can show you. There you go, just like that. We're gonna cross beam here as well. And then one last time, we're gonna cross beam right here too. So right there. And then maybe go right there. There we go. So it's looking good already. Let's get down and look at it from the ground. Ah, look at that, not too bad at all. Great. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna take, um, I think I'm gonna take some oak planks, just like this right here. And all I'm gonna do is just fill in the areas right here, this area right here, this area, and then this area, and also the front. Just fill them all in with oak planks for right now, and then later on we can go back in at doors, window, and possibly even texture. So again, I will cut back in after I'm done with that. Okay, so now that we filled all those areas in with the oak planks, it should look something like this. Alright, so if we go and look from the uh, other side, it looks like this. And if you're building this in your world, it's going to be a 5 this way by 7 long that way. So basically, it's a big old 5 by 7 box frame, just like this. Okay, so next, let's get a crafting table, which for some reason I don't have. Or do I? No, don't have one. All right, so let's make a crafting table real quick. 
Okay. Like that. Alright, and let's go like this. And now we have a crafting table. And I think I want to make the roof out of spruce. So, let's go on the, to the crafting grid here. And let's just make a bunch of planks. So, like this. And we're just going to make a bunch of spruce planks. Okay, I think 64 is a, a, a good to start on. And we're just going to shift click to make the stairs quickly like this. I think that's a lot easier actually. Alright. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to tower up. So that way we can put the roof on. So, let's see. If I take this cobblestone and I go like this. Put it right here. And I'm just going to make a simple um, way to get up. Something like this. It doesn't have to be complicated because we're going to take this down once we're done. So, now that we're up here, hmm, let's see, where are we going to start the roof at? Okay, I think I'm going to start it right here. So basically, right, hold on to your shift button so you don't fall off, and you want to put a stair right there. Okay, and then another one right here, and then one more stair right here to overhang it. Just like that. Okay, so it should look just like this when you've done this part. And basically now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side so let's put a stair let's see right right here just like that and then one here and one here actually and also like on the other side let's overhang it right here so the way we're going to do this roof is going to be pretty simple we're just going to do a simple pretty much a stair pattern just a simple stair pattern just like this so, put one upside down, and then you put a stair like this right on top of it. And you keep just repeating this pattern until you get to the very middle, right? Then, you'll take your stair that you have, and you want to kind of put it right here in the upside down position, just like that. And for now, we'll just put another stair facing inward like this, okay? So then, when we get down, which I'm trying to do, yep, you should have a nice arch just like this okay so now that you've seen that let me go ahead and mirror this to the other side and I'll cut back in when I do that okay so now that we mirrored it to the front it looks just like this um, it's a little obstructed by the tree but I'll be 100% honest it's, it's the same exact um, roof as the one in the back so you can kind of see it right here it's the same arch let's go real quick again and look at the one in the back it looks like this okay so now the next thing you want to do is just kind of fill in this side area with more stairs right here so let's get up here and just go like this just continue this and just fill it right in so one there and one there and now let's go to the other side and do the same exact thing this is probably going to be the easiest part of this just fill these stairs in all the way like this okay all right so next now that we fill those in all right you're going to take your dark oak logs. Let me see. Let me get mine first. Right here. No, that's spruce. Okay, so we have about... Mm, we only have 24 dark oak. Okay, well then, you know what? Instead, take your spruce logs. Alright? And then we're going to go ahead and just fill those in. And I'll show you. We're going to fill them in. No, not like that. But rather like this. Alright? So, just like that. And we're going to do this all the way from one side to the next. Just like this. And when you get to the top, yet again, just fill it in like this. Okay. And now you should have a, a roof that looks like this. Alright. So, here, let's go ahead and do the other side. Since this is simple. Alright. Just like I said, fill it in. Like that. And now we have the roof. Let's go down and look at it from down here. And our roof looks like that. Now, what you can also do if you want, you can actually take some spruce planks. So here, let me make some real quick. Like this much, right? And then what you can do is you can text your roof. So I'll show you. It's a, basically there's no pattern to it. Just randomly, you can put in planks. Again, you don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look a whole lot more put together, let's just say. Oh, wrong one. That's an oak one. There we go. 
so let's go back down and real quick yeah you can see a big difference already right it almost looks like the this lining of the roof is kind of caving in which I think actually looks pretty cool so I'm going to go ahead and finish texturing putting in the rest of these um, spruce planks on the roof and when I'm done with that I will cut back in all right so now that we went ahead and textured this house you can see how much different it looks with just a little bit of you know non pot patterned texturing and if we turn around let's give it a better look it looks like this if we go all the way to the top it looks like this and in my opinion it gives it a, a better and more let's say unique look to it right it doesn't look like anything else that we built because we did this so we use different blocks so um yeah this is not necessarily a step that everyone's going to want to do but then again like i said if it's something that interests you definitely go ahead and do as much or a little as you know texturing that you want okay so now we talked about texturing uh let's put in some details on this house and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use uh, spruce slabs, like the ones I have right here, right? And basically, the same thing that we did as far as texturing, you do with the spruce slabs. So basically, you just go like this, and you just kind of put them randomly. Again, no pattern, and yeah, you have fun with it. You don't have to do it, and that's it. Um, but on the top roof, I think I'm going to do this. Let me see something. If I put one here, 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 and here, yes. You can do that right so if you put a slab right there on every other one it gives you this nice um, kind of transition right to the roof so yeah so you, you can put that in so like I said every other one so if you start at the very front right here it's one here and then every other one you just put one slab and you should have four in total just like that right now if we look from here we actually have uh, put more in of a let's call it a rustic right it looks more rustic so yep this is how you do rustic builds you just you know randomly put like slabs and stuff like that trap doors and even stairs if you want but I think for today I'm just going to do um, slabs and trap doors so I made some trap doors here so randomly just scatter them right no particular order design or anything and yeah it'll look just like this when it's done right let's go back again and there you go all right so let me go ahead and do this other side real quick and then no well not let me not put that there like i was saying let me go ahead and do this same you know texturing thing on the other side of the roof with the uh, trap doors and the slabs and i will come back with you when i'm done all right so now that i did that here is the roof again and it's it's pretty much done i put the texturing in i use slabs and trap doors to kind of break up the roof and give it more of a unique look all right so the next detailing thing i think we're going to do is just put some slabs right here again one every other one so if we start in the front we put one there one here one's going to go here uh when i move the stairs so we can start at the back one there one there all right and now we have this kind of um you know on the side which gives it again a better transition and then in those gaps if you want you can put some trap doors just like this all right and let's let's see let's put some more in the back like that oh, not there let me move this let's put another one let's say right there and there we have it all right so let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side let me just make a couple more slabs real quick Okay, like that, and I just need a couple, there we go, I think eight, eight should be enough, right? And then right here, we'll just put them in. So it's down the front, one right there, and just skip one and place another one. So one, skip one, place one, skip one, place one. Now we're going to place one here. Oh, hold on, uh, let's see. Looks like I made an error there. Let's do this again. Okay, the leaves got it away. Right. So let's put one here, here, here. Nope, not there. Here and right there, like that. And then the trap doors in between. Right there. One right there. 
And the last one right here. And there we go. Just like the one on the other side. Alright? And then next, what we're going to do is... Okay, I left this spot right here open because this is where we're going to put um, our door at. So, let me just go ahead and put some like windows in. Let me put the doors in. Let me give this a little bit of more decoration. And I think I'm going to cut back in when everything's all finally... Is all final, finally done? Yeah. All right. Okay. Why, well, hello there, gamers and crafters. I was just, uh, you know, eating a piece of beef. <laughs> and um, well, yeah, I've been hard at work. It's pretty rainy outside, and I didn't really want to show you what I've done. But I think you will be amazed at the um, the end result of what I was able to accomplish here. So, if you're ready for it, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I give you the brewing hut there it is in all of its glory so as you can see I extended the path from over there to, to the front of the uh, brewer the brewery whatever uh, I put in some fences I put coarse dirt I put plenty of um, the berry bushes in I put leaves in I put mushrooms over here I put another wart gravel you name it it's in here now for windows, since this is supposed to be uh, a somewhat of a witch's hut or a brewery, I decided to go with some uh, fences, some dark oak fences. And also, as um, you see here, I used dark oak uh, trapdoors to use as shutters, although that probably makes no sense, but I think it's pretty decorative. So if we come in here, I just put, um, I put in a uh, crafting table, a furnace, a chest with some, you know, things you need to brew with, like bla bra uh, blaze rods sand magma cream and nether wart right and then upstairs if you want to look up here we have a bit of a nether wart form going right with some lighting and everything I think it looks pretty cool so yeah that's the inside right again there's some a couple more windows in here with the uh, um, with the what do you call those dark oak fences there and if we go look on this side you can see I put mushrooms as well to give it that whole like Witch hut feel, some more nether ward, and look at this chimney. Look at this chimney. <laughs> I put that in last minute. I also did some texturing with the, um, what do you call that, with the uh, mossy cobblestone. So yeah, so here's the back, all right? Looks pretty cool. And here's the side, again, I kind of went crazy. <laughs> Had fun doing it, but yeah, so. I hope you had fun with this video. I hope you built one of these in your world. And if you did, you can um, send me pictures of it on Twitter. My Twitter is in the is actually put on the uh, about me section on my channel. So check there. I'll also link it down in the description. And um, yeah, but before we leave, I just have one last favor for you. If you can just leave a like and leave comments and everything, that'll be amazing. So until next time, this has been Kid. Take care now. Bye bye. Bye.